So hello everyone, this is Dr. Sivarajan Tandishwaran, a stroke and neurovascular consultant at Kaveri Hospital based at Chennai and uh, we are going to um, celebrate Brain Awareness Week from 14th to 21st of uh, March and uh, on this backdrop uh, we, are, we would like to talk to everybody about uh, how well we can keep our brain healthy. The brain health starts right from uh, we are in the womb inside our mother and uh, as you would have already heard we always encourage pregnant mothers to take folic acid and uh, iron supplements because folic acid is very very important for the child's uh, brain and nervous system development when they are growing inside the womb. So um, especially for mothers who have history of uh, previous neurological disorders or if they are taking certain medicines that may affect the brain development, it is very important. In India, we have a perennial problem of uh, anemia, iron deficiency anemia, especially in villages where there is high incidence of uh, worm infestation. So we encourage every mother to look out for anemia and treat it because anemia causes stunted growth and um, um, poor brain development. So right from the beginning, we would encourage everybody to check their hemoglobin levels um, before they get pregnant and make sure they correct it and while they are pregnant it is very important to take folic acid supplements which are very simple tablets to take and as we come into the world as we are young um, as we develop it's very important to look after our brain health in by taking the right food at the right time and eating plenty of uh, fruit and fiber and uh, avoiding um, processed food you know uh, kids nowadays are very uh, keen to um, consume a lot of uh, processed food, uh, fast food items and also they um, rely a lot on uh, sort of uh, food that are high in salt and sugar. So all of this can uh, increase risk of uh, premature health issues like diabetes, hypertension in later life. And as we enter our school age, it's very important to make sure we look after our brain uh, by wearing helmets when you start practicing your bicycle and also as you grow up to become a big adult you may be interested in taking sports and especially if you have a keen interest in doing contact sports um, it's very important to make sure uh, you have uh, the right sports gear and uh, headgear to protect yourself. For example, uh, smoking increases a uh, risk of uh, clogging of your blood vessels and increases a uh, risk of a lot of cancers including uh, lung, kidneys, bladder and even brain cancers. Uh, exposure to radiation from mobile phones can increase uh, frequency of uh, seizure incidents Seizure means like fits, kakavalip in Tamil as well. Adhiki nero phone paakaradhu, kandu mulichil mobile paakaradhu and uh, overnight uh, work pannam bodhu, too much of bright light exposure can trigger seizures. And all of this can be minimized by keeping your gadgets at the right uh, dim uh, setting and also limiting your time that is exposed to all these gadgets. And taking enough rest, eating at the right time is very important and also eating the right food is also very important. And as we move up the uh, later ages into our 50s and 60s, the incidence of a lot of other lifestyle conditions increase. For example, irregular heart rhythm, atrial fibrillation, or valvular heart problems. These increase risk of strokes due to clots generating from our heart and uh, uh, valves and also the arteries. So all of this can be properly monitored and treated by the right sort of uh, tests and advice. As I'm a stroke specialist, I would like to emphasize that stroke is a easily treatable condition if somebody has uh, identified it properly, promptly and have uh, come to a hospital which is stroke ready. So you, were, you would have heard of uh, clot busting drugs that can dissolve the clot and often reverse the stroke's effects uh, if it is given within the first four and a half hours, which is the golden hour. And if the clot is too big and long and uh, if it is sitting in a large artery, it can be mechanically removed with devices such as uh, uh, catheters and stents. And a lot of patients have been saved from near-death scenarios by using these uh, medicines and devices. So if you 
asked me uh, how you can prevent your brain from getting severely damaged at an old age and uh, how to stay healthy so and how to avoid dementia the best answer is eat healthy walk regularly exercise increases your heart rate and increases blood flow to the brain and it washes off all the toxins and uh, it increases the chance of new cell and uh, formation and repairing uh, cells that are vulnerable so exercise is the is one of the key factors that can reverse uh, aging and uh, improve your brain health and also eating healthy uh, with good uh, spread of vitamins minerals uh, all the antioxidants uh, prevents aging in the brain keeping active keeping socially active and uh, eating healthy and exercising regularly are the key factors that can keep our brain healthy so in this year's brain awareness week i hope we have uh, exchanged quite a few useful information and if you have any doubt please feel free to come and talk to us in our clinic we are available at uh, chennai kaveri thank you so much